panda's head. So oftentimes you have a data frame that's way too big to see what sample rows are gonna be like. Well, panda's head will return the top N rows for you. And when I say N, that means you can pick whatever you want. So panda's head will return the top N rows and its close cousin dot tail will return the bottom N rows. So let's check out what this looks like. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna say, oops, import pandas as PD. And then I'm also gonna import numpy as MP because we're gonna use some random numbers. So first thing I'm gonna do is um, create a data frame. And so here in this data frame, I'm gonna set a numpy random seed. That means I'm gonna generate random numbers, but you'll be able to get the exact same random numbers as me if you put seed equals 42. I'm gonna create a data frame that has a number of students and test scores, and so I want a thousand students. And then here, I'm just pulling out uh, some random numbers from, from NumPy. I have three columns for three tests, score one, two, and three, and then I have an index just to purely label my students. So if I run this, I'm actually printing out the length of my data frame, and I've created a data frame that has a thousand rows long. Now, that's a lot of rows. And if I just wanna see the top ones, this is where I need to see, or I need to put dot head. So all that you need to do to run this one is super easy. It's just df dot head. And then what you'll get is you'll get the top five rows returned to you by default, which is pretty cool. I'm using this most often when I just wanna do a quick sanity check on my data set to make sure that it's uh, in the exact same format that I want. Now. You'll notice that you can also do this on a series, and so you don't need to do this on a data frame. Here, I'm calling out a single column, score two for my data frame, and I'm calling dot head on that, and I get the exact same thing. So 36632, 36632, that's great. But say you don't want five rows, You what if you want three rows? Well, sure, I mean, you could just do uh, df dot head, n equals three. And this n part means how many rows do you want returned to you? You could do three, you could do 3,000, you can do as many as you want, um, whatever suits you. So here I'll run it and I'll get n equals three. I only get the first top three rows. Now pandas uh, head, um, you don't need to specify n if you don't want to because it'll know that if you put a three here that it'll know that you mean three rows. I'll run that same exact thing and I get it right there. So on the flip side of that, I also wanna show well, what if you don't want the top rows, you actually want the bottom rows of your data set? Well, that's when df.tail comes in. And so I'll run this one, and you can see here that we have the bottom five rows, one, two, three, four, five. And this is everything that's at the bottom of our data set, right? Now, you can also specify the number of rows that you wanna do with this one. Here, I'm doing tail two, and this is the same thing as n equals two. And here, I just get the bottom two rows. Now, the last thing that I'll show you is a little bit of a bonus one, and we have another tutorial on this if you wanna check it out. But if you're just trying to get a sample of your rows, then Pandas has a really nice function that's called df.sample. And what this will do by default is return to you a random sample. So here, for example, I got a random sample of my student 152, and it looks like they scored a zero on their test one. That's not very good at all. Um, the other cool thing about sample is you can ask it to return you n number of rows as well. So here I'm asking it to return me three random sample rows. I'll go ahead and get this. And as you can see, I get three random rows. So that is pandas.head and .tail.